people who have wavy and curly hair, textured hair in general, put in a lot of effort into their wash day. And for good reason, because the way in which we justify it to ourselves is that, look, I'm only doing this once a week. And also all of our stories are pretty much the same. We have spent years and years and years completely destroying and frying our hair. There is no other option for us. We spent so many years, decades in fact, styling our hair, burning it to a crisp. And now there is no way for us to walk out of the door without doing something to our hair because it doesn't look presentable, it doesn't look manageable. And maybe for some of us, even when we straighten our hair, it still looks atrocious. It looks burnt, it looks damaged. And so we cling on to our CG routines and we don't mind putting in that effort because in our head, we're justifying it as I'm only doing this once a week. This is gonna be my self-care routine. So maybe I'll take like a Thursday or I'll take like a Sunday and I'll paint my nails on that day I'll do my face masks and stuff on that day and I'll do my hair on that day and so to put that into context the means justify the ends but there are also a lot of people with textured hair who are busy with nine to five jobs mothers who really have no time to themselves and definitely no time even if it's like once a week to give to the CG routine. Another thing that is also of note is that a lot of us started CG during the lockdown when we had nothing but time. And so at that point, it was totally acceptable for us to spend like hour upon hour on our hair routines. But now that many of us are back to work, many of us are back to normal lives, it is very difficult to find that time. So what do we do now? Do we abandon CG? Hopefully with this video, you get like a quick fix. This is a five minute styling routine. So obviously the results, the longevity, the robustness of your curl clumps are not going to be the same. But if you're looking for a routine which is very simple, doesn't take you too much time, you only have five minutes to style, you want to be able to detangle your hair because this routine, it doesn't give you super robust curl clumps. It's very easy to comb through this. So let's say you don't have all that time that you used to have. Hopefully this video will help you out. This is like a five minute styling routine. This is a quick routine for busy people. You can detangle easily before washing. You won't have any issues detangling because the clumps are not super defined. So shampoo and condition as you usually do. And then all you have to do is spend an extra five minutes styling your hair. We're not using any gel, so the drying time will also be really fast. So I'll start by parting my hair and then spritzing it down with water. Use a leave-in conditioner of your choice. You can apply using roping, raking, praying hands, whichever technique you find easiest. The steps are pretty straightforward here. Spritz your hair down with water, apply leave-in conditioner and then comb, apply mousse and then comb, and then lastly scrunch and that's it. Let it air dry. I'm using a little more leave-in conditioner because this is a new product for me. I'm still experimenting with it and my hair doesn't feel like it has enough product on it. So again, I'll emulsify the product and then apply it. Then I'll comb to define my clumps. So here I'm going in with some mousse. I'll use enough to coat the lengths of my hair evenly. The foam vanishes in a couple of seconds, so once the foam dies down, I'm going to comb through once more. And then I'll scrunch. This is what my hair looks like once I'm done scrunching. 
I'll wait for it to air dry and then I'll scrunch out the crunch. You can place your fingers between your curl clumps and then pinch to check if it's completely dry. Then I'll just crunch out the crunch and fluff out my roots. I just want to leave you guys with one message. Do whatever makes you comfortable. Feel free to modify your routine as per your convenience and your lifestyle. If you only have five extra minutes to do your hair, you can still make it work. We're all unique, our lifestyles and our life situations are also unique. So it's really important for each one of us to modify and find a routine that works for us and our particular situation. So these are my results. As you can see, the routine gave me some super soft waves. So I have done variations of this routine before. I've done a rake and scrunch, but I used leave-in and gel. And I've also done a leave-in and mousse, but I've done it using the upside down styling routine. I've also done a few other routines here on my channel. And even though I don't think it's fair to compare, I'm just gonna put up the footage here so that you can see what the payoffs are, what the negatives are, what the positives are of each styling routine. And you can make your assessments accordingly. That was pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you gained value. And if you're looking to see another styling routine that only takes five minutes, make sure to check out my Rake and Scrunch video right here.